He sat in a field, up to his axles in mud. And Farmer McCole didn't seem to care. But Percy had the worst dream of all. He dreamt he was a roller coaster ride. He rattled up the rickety rails and all the way down again. Bust my boiler, wailed Percy. As the dawn began to break, Thomas was dreaming too. In his dream, he was wondering how he could make things better. As he wondered, Thomas puffed along a misty mountain track. And there was Lady. Lady was a very special steam engine. She worked high up in the mountains. Lady was shunting freight cars with Rusty the diesel engine. Thomas was surprised. We always finish our jobs when we work together, puffed Lee. The next morning when Thomas woke up, he knew exactly what to do. Thomas puffed across the island. He was looking for Mavis. Mavis wasn't like the other diesel engines. She was kind. Thomas knew she would help him with his plan. Thomas needs to find Mavis quickly, but he doesn't know where she is. How can Thomas find Mavis? Mavis's horn doesn't sound like anyone else's. Perhaps that will help Thomas to find her. Will you help Thomas listen for Mavis's horn? Thomas is wondering where to look first. Where does Mavis work? That's right, the quarry. Let's listen with Thomas and see if Mavis is here. Did that sound like Mavis's horn? No, that was a whistle. Percy's whistle. Thomas will have to look somewhere else. Perhaps Mavis is collecting something at Brendam Docks. Why don't you listen with Thomas again to see if she's here? Did that sound like Mavis's horn? You're right, it was a horn. But not Mavis's horn, it was Salty's horn. Thomas will have to look somewhere else. Maybe Mavis is having a washdown. Listen with Thomas. Did that sound like Mavis's horn? Yes, you're right. That did sound like Mavis's horn. But this doesn't look like Mavis but only because she was covered in soap suds. Thomas has found Mavis, but he couldn't have done it without your help. Thomas told Mavis all about his plan. Thomas wanted the steam engines and the diesels to work together. Mavis agreed. It is the only way to get the airport open. But how will we get all of the engines to work together? asked Thomas. First, we all need to talk to each other, said Mavis. Then Thomas had an idea. Let's have a big meeting with all of the engines at the coaling plant tomorrow, he puffed. Thomas and Mavis went to see the other engines to tell them all about the meeting. Thomas told Percy. Then James, then Emily. Mavis told Diesel, then Ari, then Bert. 